Okay guys, uh, I'm just chilling in my bed right now. Um, it's pretty early. It's like uh, half past eight. And um, I'm like semi-tired, but I want to get up really early. I'm having an exciting day tomorrow because I have two job interviews and hopefully I will get an answer from like a third place where I applied for a job. So, and yeah, tomorrow is my cheat day also because I figured out I couldn't really like um, preoccupy myself with the training and the diet tomorrow and I've, and I've been good for like the whole week I, I was training and I'm sore. Good morning guys. I literally just woke up and it's, um, sorry, it, it's 7.15. expect of this. I have never tried this. So this will be your first impression. This stuff is like literally some cinnamony muffin with raisins inside and I don't know what does it have to do with carrots in any way. We are on our way. As you can see I did some makeup. like I dressed up yeah this is a good lighting so you can see my makeup now we are gonna go uh, to catch the tram and then go and catch the train to Hoofdorp and uh, after that a bus to Heimstead uh, so yeah A few minutes later. But let me tell you, as I said earlier, better early than late because I missed my station, so now I'm going to be three minutes late. is 1 p.m. so we will see if they are offering part-time or full-time uh, if they are offering part-time I'm not sure what to choose because if I choose this place I it would be smarter to move somewhere a little bit outside of Amsterdam and if I just choose this I 
will most probably stay in Amsterdam. Of course, if they want me, we will see how the interview goes, but still don't know where, when will I have the information and the feedback about uh, if I am qualified for the job or not. Yeah, so I'm like calculating what, how much, where, when. I don't know anything at this point and it really frustrates me because it has been a month. So at this point we're going to the job interview number two. It's 15 minutes walking from my place. Uh, I just changed to like some fitness uh, equipment. They may require us to perform some exercises. I don't know, I have like spare sneakers in here. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to be like prepared and that's it. I did eat some more junk stuff, some sweets and I'm really like tired of it. Tired, I, I'm in a slight carb coma. But I really wanted just to relax today and I was just chilling, uh, looking some YouTube videos. And I'm excited to see what's going to happen in this interview. Uh, I visited the gym before. I have visited the gym before and it's excellent. It has like a spa and... Uh, swimming pool and a lot of different like mm, rooms for exercising so I really like it um, we will see how it will uh, go I will be sure to make some footage of the gym as well it's called David Lloyd and it's actually like a chain of a chain of uh, gyms around the Europe actually I'm not sure like to say which cities for sure but I know they have them in England it's an English company actually and I know they have them around Netherlands also so yeah and since I don't know what will happen with my job actually and when I do like all the calculations in my head will it be beneficial for me to stay here because I did register here and I got my BSN which is like you know citizen number so I can always come back but uh, let this video be like my experience living in Amsterdam for a month at least since I came here on September 27th and it's already Halloween <laughs> or October 31st let this be like impressions of Amsterdam impressions of living in Amsterdam for a month and I do have some impressions and I will be I will make sure to film that uh, when I get home. I will name a few things that weirded me out here and a few things I loved here. So, there's always good and bad, right? So, let's see. wanted to conclude this video because I'm editing right now and I um, just wanted to thank you everyone for watching I'm sick of all the calories like I had and it's so funny because you I always end up like regretting these cheat days I feel so dry maybe I should work 
you know, on moderation or something. Anyways, uh, the first gym in which which I visited today was uh, pretty cool. I mean, it was my second interview with them and they did want to hire me and they will send me a contract. The only issue I have with that, like, job is working hours because they are not like capable of offering me full-time job so yeah I gotta check you know uh, the contract and um, to calculate myself whether it you know pays off to stay here you know you, you gotta pay your bills I'm not here with my mom and dad or anyone so I'm by myself I need to pay my bills and buy my food and stuff so and yeah I would also have to move uh, outside of Amsterdam the second gym was uh, in which I was uh, around 4 p.m. it's like a block away from here it's 10 minutes 15 minutes walk so it's great location wise and I think it really went cool. We had like, I'm not gonna bother you with that much details. It's just, uh, we went, we did some basic, you know, workouts with this guy that, you know, we were introduced to and that was contacting us through emails. Uh, it was me and some other guy and I think they were expecting a third person but he didn't show up so um, he or she didn't show up so uh, we uh, did some squats uh, 10 squats 10 push-ups and 10 walking lunges for three rounds I guess they just wanted to see us if we have like a correct form or something and they assigned us to two guys uh, as our clients so we had to chit chat with them a little bit to see like you know to get the basic information out of them and then we had 10 minutes to make up some type of training for them so i did that and i was assigned to none other than the fitness manager itself he thought that i did not know who he was but I actually did because I was at that gym three weeks ago when I came here because it's a block away it's so nearby so I was like do you need personal trainers I was introduced to a sales manager he gave me the contact and the email of the fitness manager and I saw his name on the email uh, so I sent him the email but I guess he was not the one that replied to the email so he did not know that I knew who he was and uh, the only feedback he gave me after that that was like negative it's like you should have been more tough with me you know like I'm supposed to be his authority because I'm a personal trainer and I'm like okay but I'm aware of that but it's just a 10 minute trial and I do know that you are the one that's my authority so I'm not like um, you know it was stupid for me to pretend like that but I get what he he wanted to see that I have you know that kind of power to really transform motivate and push someone so I get that and they said that tomorrow I will get a feedback so that is also great and the third gym which I applied for a month and a half ago I won't name them because it's stupid it's a gym that um, is like they are all over the world practically so a lot of locations all around they had three rounds one 
you know, like when I send them the application email, they were like, okay, so this is your first assignment. Get back to us when you finish it. You have two weeks. I did that. I send them, send them my uh, feedback and, you know, my whatever. Uh, I send them the email. They reply. They say, okay, we would like to have a Skype interview. Okay. I have the Skype interview with the senior trainer. Uh, and he's like, it was a good interview and I would like to invite you to come for practical. I'm like, great. And I book the flight and I come here. Uh, so that is not like, I was not like, okay, so they have to give me the job right away because they called me to come. No, it's not like that. My issue comes here. So. I came in Amsterdam and I'm waiting for the senior manager to schedule my practical. He does not answer. Uh, no, he, he's not like texting me or emailing me or anything. So third day, I'm like, okay, hi, I'm here. Can I please just know when will be the practical so I can prepare and you know? Uh, and yeah, they did give me the, the assignment, so like you will have this type of training, prepare that and come. I prepared everything, so I wanted to know like when will this happen and um, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry, thank you for your patience, it's not going like unnoticed. Your like wish, you know, to get the job. And I'm like, thank you for noticing. Uh, I was like really glad like that they saw that I was really like you know I was I was really trying in every round to be like as quick and as thoughtful as possible and my issue comes here so I do the practical and they say okay in a week or two we're gonna give you some feedback so, I'm like super disappointed about that, but never mind. I'm just going to push it through and be patient. And so that was mid-October and yesterday I'm like, okay, I have these these two job interviews because, you know, I wanted to be more safe and not rely on that job so much even though I relied on that job. Sorry for the camera. I relied on that job uh, the most, but I still applied, you know, here and there. So I saw that this one gym wanted me to start working with them, and I was like, okay, I don't know what to do now. They have to give me some feedback, and it has been two weeks almost and I say hey here I am again can you please just tell me you know um, because tomorrow is exactly two weeks and I hope I'm not bothering you and I was like I was I was not even telling him please tell me I was like when can I expect some feedback he answers me the next day Hi Milica, no worries. At that point, I'm like, what the f Sorry again, please don't think that I'm bothering you or that I'm pushing you. I don't have right to do it, even if I wanted to. So, uh, please, uh, I just 
wanted to know because uh, I, you know, based a lot of stuff around this job opportunity. So that is why I'm asking. And please, once again, so third time that I'm apologizing, I said, please, I'm really, really not trying to be uh, pushy or annoying. And then, five minutes after that, he just answers me, um, well, yeah, you know, like, we decided to, that, yeah, we decided, like, the draft message, you know, we decided to focus. Then he sends me this draft message, literally draft message, like, okay, so we decided that you don't fit our requirements. You say that to me now. You did not say that to me like when you have said to me, hi Milica, no worries. One day after I have asked you, why, one, day, one day after I have asked you, at this point I have nothing to lose. And I say, I ask this manager, okay, uh, thank you, that's my first reply, and my second reply is, if you have the time, just please tell me, you know, what was wrong so I could improve. <laughs> Nothing more, just an honest feedback so I can know so I can better myself or think about it or whatever, you know. It seemed so unprofessional and it's like I'm just ranting right now, but it really seemed unprofessional. These guys were so mysterious. I did not get one single feedback, but the one that it does not go unnoticed that like, I'm really responsible and, like, want to get a job, so... Five minutes later. I really just wanted to thank every single person that has watched this video. It... You know, the first thing why I decided to vlog this uh, was because I thought is it was somewhat meaningful, you know? Whatever, you know, happens after this, whether I get the job or I don't get the job, it's it was a big step for me because I really tried. I I am here for a month and I've applied for like many, many jobs, but still I really did not want to take anything. I wanted to share my experience with you. I wanted to start vlogging, I wanted to start sharing content, I wanted to uh, talk real talks with you. I tried to keep this like content, you know, it's just who I am, just kind of random, you know, who cares, but I really just wanted to put it out there and I do want to put myself out there because yeah, I'm putting this out there so whatever happens uh, this was my journey or an attempt to create one and as you know many people try and succeed many people try and fail it's all life it's nice to know that you're not alone in whatever so let me be the example of whatever happens Thank you so much for watching this to anyone that should hear this, he will hear it or she will hear it.